Oh, you know, I got a new job and I've been doing well there and I'm I like making money. So and I like having health insurance. So. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, hell yeah, dude. So I, Wait, I like where are you having. At now? Do you... Uh, it's just got an animation Kaima? studio. Um, it's a, I'm not gonna say Whoa. where just yet, but it's an animation mm-hmm. studio now. It's so a, I do an animation, a random. I am animation a professional studio. animation. She does this for I'm actual money now. Yeah, you make yeah. an actual Wait, living. That's, that's huge. Yeah, that's amazing <laughs> because last time we spoke, I remember you were going to school for what is it? Yeah, biology I had left or that. something. Yeah, because I had been studying for micro, and I actually got my degree in micro, but I think I wasn't super happy in the field. Not necessarily, I actually enjoy knowledge. Like I like learning about science, and I like science, but the job itself, there was a lot of, not even pertaining to the work itself, but just political and stuff, frustrations relating to that, and it was just really <laughs> depressing. Um, but and I, th- mm. I think I didn't even bail. I was actually I'm very fortunate that my parents are so supportive. So they were the ones who were like, okay, she looks really miserable. Let's talk to her. <laughs> and they're like, you know, we we know That's you funny. like to do animation. All right, why don't you give? I'm like, well, I you guys helped me spend all this money to get a degree. I don't want to do it again. <laughs> They're like, okay, well, I no, think that's about wonderful. it. And then you know, they there was mm-hmm. like a school that had an open house for their student. They're like, yeah, you know, let's just check it out, you know, and, it's, and to see what it is, maybe, and bring your portfolio. Maybe, maybe you'll be fine. And then, so we went, and I did, and I was just awestruck that this was just student work. I'm like, this is professional looking. And so yeah, like, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely <laughs> professional looking. Put everybody else to shame in, in RuneScape. Yeah, and I'm like, I think I am drawn. <laughs> That's what I, was like, I can't do anything. Mm-hmm. I thought I was decent. I can't do anything. But then, um, no, I showed them my portfolio. Actually, one of the things I did bring was this old animatic I did back when I didn't have digital art. It was like the When You're Evil music video. That was actually one of the things I brought. Oh, and I remember that, they, yeah. They actually looked at it, and they were like, you know, your draftsmanship needs work, but you have a really good sense of timing and, and acting and posing. So you actually, I do think there is an animator in you. Oh, wow. <laughs> so oh, wow. Um, oh, yeah. they do actually, like, you know, then I ended up taking the program and I look at my old stuff and I'm like, oh my God, I used to be proud of this stuff. <laughs> I can't. I can't yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't know how that goes at all, but yeah. <laughs> so, so I'm looking at myself from like 10 years ago and I'm like, I can't believe I used to think I could draw. <laughs> and I'm more than happy to update any of your old icons because when oh, I see yeah. them now, I'm just I love like, my old icons. Yeah. <laughs> I use <laughs> Kyle's icons for that's crazy. how much I care. Is <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. Anything looks good. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I graduated actually that's, that's like really... twenty. Like this. I mean, we didn't really have a graduation because of the pandemic, but <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I got my right. degree yeah. in in this past summer, and now I have a studio job. So. Wow, wait, so you were able to graduate and get a job in the same year during a pandemic. That's it actually, insane. It's, it, I'm very happy, and like I recognize that's really lucky. Um, actually, there was a one thing that, it was what I think that kind of still hurts a little, though, because like, this is around March, so this is like right when before the pandemic was like everyone was in the lockdown. So I actually had landed a phone interview with Disney. Oh, I heard about. I remember hearing about that. Oh, you did. You heard about. That? I was yeah. just really. <laughs> okay, but yeah, I landed a phone interview with Disney. The one on Twitter when I put that was a different program. That was just like a student thing where you were there for like a few days and stuff. Mm-hmm. But this was an actual like internship for the summer, upcoming summer. It was oh, like wow. a three month program. Uh, and I landed the phone interview, and I was like, "Oh, this is so exciting! I can't believe that Disney wants me!" And then, like a week later, they sent out an um, in like a. Uh, let her be like, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, all summer internships oh, have been no. canceled for 2020. Oh, <laughs> We're so sorry man. And then I'm like, well, but it's okay. You know, another one door closes, another one, and then I have a job, so I can't complain too much, oh. especially in the pandemic, you know? Oh, of course not. <laughs> yeah. Count count my eggs, yeah. especially for something that I want to do. So we've completely lost hey, you. Did you yeah. teleport out of the manor? Uh, I'm 
in the cabbage patch waiting. Oh, around. you're okay. <laughs> How God, God, you're like already almost done with this. Do you guys remember the last stream when it took us the entire stream to do this? <laughs> All like, two Prezi's hours. doing the 2020 event. It took us like literally a full hour trying to figure this stuff out. And Prezi's like already done with it. So if you're wondering how Prezi was able to get a job in the same year that she graduated, this this is the kind of intuition that she had that helped her do this that. This dedication. <laughs> the, the fact that she was able to talk with us <laughs> and complete the quest. I can't even like chew bubble gum and walk at the same time. Yeah. She's finishing this quest <laughs> while completely telling her life story. That's just amazing. <laughs> so I want to no, know I a little bit more talking. about... Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> No, it's okay. I want to. Know, we cut each other off all the time in Discord because there's this <laughs> latency lag. So seriously, don't worry about it when it happens. It happens like literally all the time when we do this. But uh, I want to know a little bit more about you know how are you liking like the studio gig so far? Like, is it everything that you'd hoped? Is it you know obviously you don't have to talk about you know too much of the nitty gritty details if you know you want to keep it private. But you know I'm just curious about you know how your feelings are toward it. Is it kind of what you expected? Um, do you feel like everything that you've done in the past has prepared you for it, or do you feel like you're out of your element? You know, how is it feeling now that you're in, like, a big actual studio? Uh, I am feeling a little out of my element, but I've been reassured by my coworkers I'm doing just fine. Um, <laughs> 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 I really like my coworkers a lot. Like, my fellow animators are really, really positive. They're really encouraging, and I learn, I learn a lot from them because uh, they're, I mean, they've been there much longer than I have, <laughs> but mm -hmm. they are really, really nice and, under, you know, they're very understanding. And if you have questions, they're more than ready to help. There is always going to be the classic pushback between the animators and management. That's just something that's always going to be there. I think that's just part of the job where they're like, you guys have deadlines. Right. And they're yeah. like, we're working as fast as we can. <laughs> and I don't have it. We're, yeah, like, we're doing it. We're it. aware. <laughs> you can either have it look good and be a little bit delayed, or you can have it on time, and it looks really bad. That's <laughs> one. You can't have both. Exactly. <laughs> See, but... Cyberpunk 2077. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Lots of both. You can't have it on time, <laughs> or you can't have it good. So. Actually, apparently, I hear the gaming. Wait, how about neither? Really tough, these... but... yeah, <laughs> neither. Yeah. It's late, well, and it doesn't look good. <laughs> <laughs> and it's bad. <laughs> but... Oh, yeah. Well... I'm, I'm glad that you're in good company there, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of yeah. like that. I feel like that is kind of an expectation when you're going into, like, yeah, the studio like, field, where, you know, it's always that clash. And I think that's for, true for any field, you know, like, um, you know, there's going to be like, oh, how's the project going? You know, government wants to know how it's going for, to continue funding for your project. If you have any progress, it's like, well, all my sample kind of died, so I don't know what to tell you. And they're like, well, okay. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> okay. You're shrugging. <laughs> well, oh, everything's well. dead. <laughs> but believe it or not, that was a big thing that happened. Very rare to have successes with your experiments. So you have to prove your worth funding. <laughs> and that, that was fine. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Um, Jesus Christ. But no, it's it, it's like even like I talked to my dad about this because I'm trying to understand what's normal. It's like yeah, no, I'm always given dead lines and like you know you have this and then they're like well we're we, I'm not sure how manageable that is in that time, but you know that kind of thing. So there's always gonna be a pushback between getting it done fast and doing it right. That's just yep. no matter what feels. This is how it is. Yeah. And he he does like computer stuff, sure. so and that has nothing to do with art. Okay. Uh, but it's there. Are you, yeah. Are, does does <laughs> run, art run in your family at all? Or do you feel like you're the uh, only artist that's... Well, actually, my grandmother was a really big artist. Like, she didn't have a career really? in art, but she has a really strong... Like, my actually, my mom showed it to me a few years ago. Now I periodically like to pull it up for fun, but her portfolio is amazing to me. Uh, she's... Mm -hmm. God, like she to me, she has really good draftsmanship. Like she can do these really, really like realistic drawings and these beautiful wow. gestures. And she was really into fashion, so, so like a lot of her stuff was like really wow. sixties aesthetic drawing because you know she was born in like mm -hmm. you know that, <laughs> that that was her era because my mom was born in the fifties and then uh, but, but um, yeah, no, I, I really really liked her art, um, but yeah. yeah. And, so I think that's the only person I could think. My brother, I mean, he's a doctor now, but he does do a lot mm -hmm. of music on the side. So he's the musician. Cool. And my dad used to play piano a bit. Um, uh, 
Uh, my mom's a little bit crafty, but she, I wouldn't say she has like a career. Now. I think I'm the first one that actually has a career in the art industry. Yeah, that's industry. incredible. You're, yeah, you're a trailblazer in that regard. That's <laughs> awesome. I'm really glad that you know, things are working out for you so early out of graduation, too. Like, that's amazing. I think that's I'm very, like very level. grateful. Like, so, <laughs> when did you start getting into art and, and doing RuneScape comments? What, where, where did that become like? Well, art in general or specifically pertaining to RS? Oh, uh, just art, uh, both, I guess. <laughs> when did you get into art, art and then when did it become into, <laughs> into RuneScape? I've always done, like, drawings and stuff since I was a kid. I've always been into it. I always liked drawing, even, like, even as outside of the whole, like, oh, the kids like to play with crayons. But, like, I actually really like... That's about as far as I got. <laughs> The I really like reading comics a lot because I read a lot of Calvin and Hobbes and Astrid. Oh, too. yeah. That's, yeah. I can uh, see the inspiration in your RuneScape things from Calvin and Hobbes. It looks very Calvin and Hobbes-like. <laughs> I'm really glad. <laughs> but, yeah, like, so those two in particular, I think, had the biggest influence. I mean, Prez is wearing a Nezzy, Asterix, who's, like, a, a character from this French comic. He has a wing helmet, too. <laughs> Kind of not <laughs> coincidence. <laughs> <But> <laughs> Lucky, yeah. coincidence. <laughs> Lucky coincidence. Actually, that's why I gave Prez his look to have a Nezzy's because I was like, oh, Asterix has one. And I kind of liked how in the comics, those comics, the artist would have the wings emote with the character. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I want to mm -hmm. do that too. And I'm like, oh, the Helm of Nates is not. Kind of looks like that. So I can use that. <laughs> so that's how he, how he got stuck with a Nezzy. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Hobbes was replaced with a yak, so it all worked yes. out. <laughs> Hobbes is replaced with a yak. Straight man yak. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I've been drawing since I was, like, I don't know, a kid. And I always did draw. I always did, like, art electives in school and stuff. I never considered it as a career because the community I grew up in was very – it's not like they were anti-art, but they were very, very – down with the art. Heavy on the engineering. Boom. And it was very it was very obvious that like programs were more funded for like coding and computers and sciences and all the art programs were not that funded. Which it is what it is and I recognize that. Right, but, but you gotta do again, what's fun. It, 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 you gotta do what you like. Yeah. It crossed my mind so never was across my mind as a career though, because you know, it was always an impression that, oh, you'd be a starving artist, you know, you do can't make a living doing art. So I was like, Okay, let's 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 I'll just stick to it as a hobby and I will continue doing science because I like science, I like math and I'll stick with that. Yeah, uh, we, so a lot of oh go sorry. <laughs> oh no, I'm no, go ahead. I'm I was jumping in, but <laughs> go ahead and keep talking. A lot of my early academia was putting emphasis on those was math and sciences. And again, I actually enjoyed those subjects. It's not like, oh, I mm -hmm. hate this so much and I'm making myself suffer. <laughs> no, I actually, I love science a lot. I love understanding how things work. I love understanding how the world works. And actually, funny enough, I think that played to my advantage later on, which I'll get to. Um, and... And I was like, yeah, I, I can totally see myself being a scientist. And But I still like doing art. And I always liked for programs, I, you know, all those DVDs, I have like the behind the scenes for those movies, how they made this movie. Oh, yeah. I, I love watching I those. like watching that more than the movies. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> actually, though. Because, <laughs> like, and I think that was actually where it kind of dawned on me to start dabbling with it more than just doing simple drawings because I was like, I want to see them move. I want to have them actually be characters that can be their own life. You don't think about the person that drew Bugs Bunny. You view Bugs Bunny as his own entity. Right. And that to me, is, I mean, it sounds weird to be like, I don't want to be known as the artist. I want my character to be mm -hmm. known. But, you know, that is kind of the goal. You want to read enough life into this character that people just like the character. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, so I think it was a behind the scenes for Aladdin and they were showing some deleted scenes which were still in storyboards and I was like, dude, there's a thing called storyboarding? I want to try storyboarding. <laughs> <laughs> it's like real life comics it's, for a movie. It's like, yeah, it's like comics, but no speech bubbles and it thinks of sound. So I'm like, that's cool. It has timing. So I just, that's when I started dabbling with the storyboarding a bit more. And then actually, funny enough, 
Uh, I always did do like RS stuff once in a while just for fun, but they were like really crude. They were just <laughs> dumb little things. I was like, oh. Meanwhile, all other right. RS artists are weeping right now. Oh, that was crude. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Like, like, yo, that was, was, was stuff standard. I've never, <laughs> stuff I didn't post. There was stuff I didn't post. I'll show it to you later. I can probably find it in my files. But Hell yeah. I, I, I literally the did the these. The un- uh, leaked files. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Let me see if I can find. I'll find it later because I thought it was gonna might take me a while. But, oh yeah, we uh, can. I, I yeah, post that after the post the link on the video. <laughs> I did these really silly comics. It was basically just misadventures in Gilnor, but it was just really, really crudely drawn. Like I was in fourth grade or something. Like just doing this dumb thing. I think oh, man, I did a whole series. Starts. It is how it all starts. I think I think I did a bunch of a quote unquote series. Of Prez doing random events. Back then, he was wearing full rune because that's who he was. That was the character. Prez was a full rune, <laughs> like everyone he else. He up then. Yeah. <laughs> he leveled up then. But in most comics, he was like a knight, you know, looking dude. And he was doing random mm-hmm. events. And he was a lot more sassy back then. <laughs> but I feel the character yeah. Jagex wrote back then was a lot sassier as well in dialogue for Quest. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's grown as a, as, a, as a person. He's had a lot of years. Of character, oh, character arc. He even had an edgy phase. Yeah, like, there was a phase after, because like, like, the first skill case I had was 99 Smithing, and I'm like, what matches gray? Okay, black rose. So he had like this edgy phase where he had like the black wow. rose. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> he's gone through yeah, phases. <laughs> You got the Spider-Man 3 treatment. <laughs> got he had venom. a whole yeah. journey. <laughs> but... I never really, again, this social media was not really a thing. It was only starting to become a thing when I was like in late elementary, early middle. I think YouTube came out when I was in elementary school. Like it didn't exist before. It just, it was a new website when I was in elementary school. Oh, I'm feeling um, old now, yeah. but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was actually like, it was like videos like you guys that got me to be like, okay, I could try to maybe learn how to do editing and stuff. So I actually did attempt to do a few missions just because I was like I had these like ideas I'm like maybe it'll be easier to do it because the animation's already there like you know the, all the sets you know the, you have the, everything in the game world so you don't need to worry mm. about making it but then it consequently had the reverse problem and I did try it first of all getting my brother the voice act was very difficult <laughs> yeah Kyle <laughs> knows that issue <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I couldn't do it because it doesn't match my character. But <laughs> and my brother's like, I don't want it, and I'm like, and I'm like, please. And he's like, ah. I thought basically I had to stick with like one or two takes because he would kind of get frustrated beyond that. <laughs> so I oh, just wow. had to hope hope it was good. But no, I bless him. He's been super supportive about my arts and stuff. So. Oh. Oh, yeah. actually, I have a funny story about that later on too. <laughs> <laughs> so I got a question um, <laughs> from the chat. They're they're curious how you came up with the uh, the yak. How did you? Oh, you, how okay. did you become associated with the yak? That sort of happened by accident. So there was one comic I did later on when I got into comics. We're not even at that part of the stage of the story yet. <laughs> but um, basically, I there was I think it was Jagex had just introduced raids. In our in not just into or maybe maybe not just introduced but it was relatively new and I was starting to the summoning make comics stuff. at this time no it, it was the the Mazcab or the Yakamaru and the I don't oh. know the Gobi how do you pronounce that again Yakamaru it's like a giant water snake boss okay I'm thing. impressed that you just had the pronunciation down for that one. <laughs> I can't do it. I've only done it once ever, and I was completely carried by my team. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I think it, that was the comic, though. Prez was, like, going in full Leroy Jenkins. Yeah, with a Yak following him. <laughs> yeah, the norm. Because back then, you know, Yak was the high-end PVM familiar yeah. that everyone used. And then, in the, you know, there's a beat. And then the last time he was running away carrying the yak with the entire monster raid lineup chasing, he's like, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> <laughs> and then a lot of the comments that's, were like, oh, I, I love the yak. I was just chilling. Because he didn't have a name. He was just a yak. He was you know, just a prop to represent. Yak him. number three. <laughs> yak number three. Um, and, you know, he was just kind of carrying 
and you know, oh, I love how he's just not, he's really indifferent, because he doesn't, I don't draw them with faces, they just kind of... <laughs> they have no emotion. <laughs> he's emotionless, and then my, my dad in particular really liked the yak, and I, I it kind of became a thing where I was just, every once in a while, I'd draw the yak, a yak, in the background. He would do just kind of these passive Hobbes-like things, where he'd like, maybe just be reading, because he's bored while he's waiting for Prez to kill the boss, or he's like, <laughs> Prez does something... And you know, he just gives doesn't look from book his book, but just gives a thumbs up like he's like got it or something like that. <laughs> Very Gromit like, or like or I guess like Wallace and Gromit like where he's like you know, Gromit just does whatever. <laughs> like, just in the, the background flow. doing whatever. Very very Taoist approach. But then a lot of comments were saying how much they liked that. He's like I think the Yak is my favorite character. And like, he stole my the dad, show now. <laughs> he did. He kind of took over. <laughs> um, but yeah, my dad in particular is like, I love the yak, do more with the yak. And then so I, he kind of became, I tried to name him and he's got his own thing. I did draw yaks a few times before too, but not necessarily, it doesn't pick up before. It was just kind of like something I did for fun. I think there was one time I drew a swag yak because of Regicidal's rap wow. about pack yaks. Oh wow. Yeah, tell wow, about that. I remember that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah yak city. So it was like, I just took X a X yak City. and then it had the cap and the, I think it was like, it was a joke between me and Kate Flicker. I don't know if you remember her, but she, that and name sounds super familiar. She did. She's the one that did the animation on YouTube back in like 2011, uh, like the full flash ones. Um, oh yeah. Okay. She, she had, I remember. She had a really zany art style. Um, but she's the one that actually told yeah. me to, hey, if you switch to digital, you'll probably explode. And then, like, <laughs> honestly, I owe it to her. Yeah. I don't. I was using like traditional media for like a really long time, and then I switched to Flash, and I've been <laughs> using that to make my comics until like last year. Uh, yeah, so they, just, they just got rid of Flash, didn't they? They phased that out. It's been rebranded to oh. Animate. Okay, is that uh, what you're using now, or no? I use Procreate now. Oh, Procreate. Pro okay. It's you're, you're a pro. lot more portable. You're um, pro. You don't use that flash garbage. <laughs> That's what amateurs use. Uh, actually, funny enough, I have to do some client work with flash, but it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's fine. It's fine. fine. It's Adobe's own fault. They need to listen to feedback more. But it is what it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, literally. So are you I'm looking to... I'm trying to guide you to finish up your... The guy you to finish up the quest here. Are you guys going to the top floor? <laughs> no. Is she supposed guys. to be in Lumbridge Northfield right now and you just took her to the Wizard's Tower? But, oh, no, well. I'm supposed hey, to go to the Wizard's okay. Tower, I think. <laughs> um, I'm just supposed no. to talk to... I think I you, have to, to you have to go upstairs. Go to the top floor, I believe. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't even paying attention on <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, neither were we when we were doing this. We <laughs> had everybody in the chat kind of shouting at us what to do. We just followed them. Yeah. It, oh. Oh. Yeah. The gnome said something, but I clicked away. Oops. Sorry, Jason. Know. Ask your ask your question. God, I totally forgot what I was going to ask, but um, <laughs> let me think of something <laughs> real quick. So, um, have you have you you mentioned you were getting into the YouTube stuff? You you haven't bothered to get into the video making side anymore, Actually, or? Yeah, I'll I'll get into that. So I found like I, like, I went on a tangent with Baru. <laughs> Sorry, but when I did the mission, I actually didn't. Re I realized I didn't. It didn't quite get me the results I wanted, and it didn't meet what I wanted to do. Because I actually, at the same time, I was like, oh, this should expand my first. Actually, I found it limiting for what I wanted to do, because I was bound to, first of all, I was bound to other people's schedules. You know, because I'm like, if I wanted to have a group shot, I'd have to, it'd take forever just to rally people. Right. And getting oh, people to yeah. cooperate was really annoying. Uh -huh, getting yeah. my brother mm -hmm. to cooperate mm -hmm. was really frustrating. <laughs> Doing like sound, of, getting all the sounds I needed and making it at the production value I wanted was hard, and because I was not able, actually able to get it to what I had in mind. Um, yeah. Yep. So I was like, this isn't actually meeting the visions that I had wanted. So I was like, maybe I can try doing storyboarding for for for. for that's that's where it's at right now. Is like you just write a <laughs> draw a comic. You don't even have to do full on automation. You can just like take snapshots. Like every time they change your expression, you just move them a bit. And like every <laughs> like two seconds, you just change your expression, then voice over it. That's that's popular. 
Oh, no, yeah, you can, you can do all kinds animatics. of stuff with that. A lot yeah. of people do that kind of stuff for animatics and stuff. It's it's really it's really simple. It's really fun to do as well because I think there's a lot of liberty in what you can do there. Um, and I think that's what ended up being the case. Is I like this is this is more close to what I wanted to do, so I just continued doing that. I don't know why, or I mean, I guess I know why. It's because I didn't have access to digital software, but I can't. Be- I can't. I can't believe I was so stubborn to insist on trying to do it traditionally. <laughs> 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 I'm looking back now, and I'm like, I don't think I'd have the patience to do that today. Oh yeah. <laughs> but I guess when you're in high school and you just need an outlook, or you just want to bored. It's just, just a hobby. Different. When you when you have more of a adult worries, it's you kind of don't. You can't really have that kind of time. <laughs> but no, I. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But no. Around when? Oh. Sorry, yeah, I keep I keep cutting you off. I it's Discord. Call. It's Discord. It's Discord. Yeah, Discord. It's just Discord. Um, around when was it that Jagex really started to give you like recognition for your work? Oh boy, so. Technically, 2011 was the first time I got any official recognition because I actually had submitted things to the Players Gallery before, but never got accepted. Players <laughs> Gallery, holy shit! That, that, that our own web form, or it's like what Jagex used to do. It's like post back from the hedge, but they'd also have like a collection every month of player fan art that people would I send. I used to in. love oh, the yeah, Players yeah, yeah. Gallery. And I never got in. I sent one so many times and I've never got in. And I've still never got in, but I don't have <laughs> it anymore. Um, uh, but there was actually one in particular that stood out to me. You probably can rec- remember this one because it's a pretty famous one. It was like a player was fighting a blue dragon and he's like, for the love of Guthix Nile, it's a fish as he's trying to hold off a dragon. Yeah, I remember that. Like, I, remember I that. love that one. Like, I, I think that one kind of passive subconsciously inspired me too, in some degree. Yeah, um, that, that was one of my favorites. I remember that, yeah. So good, though. So. <laughs> oh yeah, I finished the event. I have all the stuff, so <laughs> I just mentioned that. But, Did you check no. this out already? Is this- the They'll point. wander around. This place is wacky as fuck. Yeah, they've got, I they've got the all the nostalgia demons. stuff. Yeah. I remember when demons used to look like that. <laughs> <laughs> cow demons, yeah. Cow demon, cow demon. Cow de- I missed them, kind of. They were kind of... I mean, know, I kind I, of wish they were bad. Did you get your inventory full of all the uh, the rares? Yeah, all the stuff. Like the, the, the toy ship kids. and all that oh. stuff. <laughs> oh, she just she's yeah. gone. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for having you on the show. If that wraps it up this week. Yeah, right, yeah. Well, that concludes the show. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, oh, my no. room light oh, settings right. are on teleport. So yeah, it's on left click teleport. So I Wait, you can go in there? What the fuck? Oh, God, I'm going to die. Uh, Jason, you're going to die, dude. <laughs> fucking animal. I don't have I the. You uh, go in here. Apparently, you can fight them from what I've heard. But, yeah, yeah, I just shot one and he yeah, punched me him. for a six. I'm outie. Damn, you can fucking train on these guys. I'm gonna do my Slayer task here. <laughs> do you have demons? <laughs> <laughs> that would be cool if they counted. Yeah. yeah, you gotta crank. You gotta crank out some levels in here, dude. Jason. Oh, they don't. I don't even know what level they are. They just says attack greater demon. I don't know. You can kill the KBD here, Jake said. Should I do it? I don't have a dragon. You don't have a dragon shield die. though. You kick your butt. Yeah, I'll kick my ass. Completely lost my chance of thought because kill I pulled away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're talking about um uh the players gallery. Oh yeah, inspired yeah. you. And the question was uh how when did you first get your recognition from Jagex? So yeah, technically it was officially 2011. I think back then I was an underdog though because I was a no- nobody going up against. I think it was like Evil Yakuza who actually had like oh, a yeah. decent following, and I was like, I don't think I'm gonna win, and then. <laughs> I ended up winning. I was like, oh my god. That's well, I'll tell you a little cool. secret. He actually won. I just read Prez on the card because I wanted <laughs> you to win. But... You rigged it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was actually surprised. I was happy because I liked your ride. I remember at the time, I was like, oh, I like Prez. She has good stuff, but like, I'm, Evil's going to win this. Cause, like, he... I didn't think I was going to win. I and I read the card. Win. I was like, she won. I can't believe it. This is awesome. I was like, actually really <laughs> happy. Like, in, like reading it like backstage. I was like, all right. Prez got the she uh, or Prez. Sorry, that's uh, <laughs> <laughs> these things don't come with pronunciation, guys. I don't know what. 
<laughs> it's okay. There's a lot of E's in a row. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I was like really thrilled. I was like, oh, she won it. That's like, that's a pretty big upset. And I was like really happy for you actually at the time. But yeah, I yeah, remember, I, now that you mentioned it, Evil Yakuza, that's a, a pretty big name. Totally forgot about that. Yeah, I, I didn't think I'd do it because, again, he had his own big following. But hey, <laughs> surprises happen. Um, but yep. then I think after that, the game started to dwindle a little bit because of all the controversial updates. Oh. And also with Minecraft on the mm, rise, but then it yep. was like, well... This is a great time to win when it just is like <laughs> fading out. Yeah, get your award and run away. <laughs> That's when I feel yeah. like I'm about to fit in with the cool kids. Everyone's leaving. <laughs> Well, that's um, funny that you mentioned that, too, because actually that's where, because I was kind of, I was huge in the video community at the time, and you were becoming huge in the in the art community at the time, and we were like kind of the two big names on RuneScape, and I'd never even met you until um, we did the Minecraft stuff together, and we did quite a few Minecraft videos. I remember you were like um, on the... Uh, I don't think people knew I was a girl. I was very yeah. muted a lot. Yeah, you, I didn't want people to know. Yeah, and it wasn't until that we actually got on the voice of like, oh, Prez is a girl. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not your fault. I kind of didn't tell people a lot, especially because, like, my brother was the voice actor. You know, people were like, oh, I thought you were a guy because the voice was always a guy. I'm like, no, that's my brother. <laughs> 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 my reluctant brother who did not yeah. enjoy voice acting. <laughs> but he, but he begrudgingly did anyway. And he did anyway, and and that too. <laughs> he's, he's the one who introduced me to the game, so. <laughs> Everyone in fine. chat is talking about remembering the time when they found out the truth that you were actually a girl. That's like a big event. <laughs> there are some people that still get surprised. So it's, it's, it <laughs> people happens. tuning in right now, like, oh my god, Prez is a girl. <laughs> it happens every time, <laughs> but it's a lot less so every time. Um. But <clears throat> what was it? So I would say the I would say my popularity most started to accelerate in 2015. What happened then? That's when I actually started posting the Reddit. Oh, uh, Reddit, so, ah, Reddit yeah. star. <laughs> <laughs> so I started Reddit. posting to Reddit, and then Reddit was like, "Yo, we like this." And then I guess it's also easier for Jagex to see it because then they're like. Ah, look at this, what Prez drew on their social media. I'm like, oh my god, Jagex is showing my stuff. That's really cool. Um, and then I just kept doing it because people liked the comics. And which ties into going back to it because there was a previous question I didn't answer, I realized, because you were asking about the video stuff. Yeah. I switched to comics because it was easier to get the stories I wanted out faster yeah. without wasting time in getting voice acting <laughs> and not to mention animating is a lot of effort because I, I actually editing I and more editing <laughs> I did try to do like a few like flash animations like Kate Flick here would do but I don't know how she, mm. she's so fast um because it took me like five months to put out one video and I'm like I can't do this <laughs> and I think also at the time YouTube's algorithm and model seem to be favoring daily content versus long episodes. Yeah. So I was like, yeah. there's no point for me to continue this. I'm just going to do comics because I'm already that way a star. I, can get my I don't need to do that. I don't need to do that <laughs> video noise. I'm, <laughs> I'm already a legend of my own, right? <laughs> no, people, actually, a lot of people forget about the 2011 one, which actually makes me a bit sad because that's <laughs> actually, I think, my personal favorite one because it was just like, first of all, I, I like that I was like a nobody there because it was like an underdog thing. Um, mm -hmm. Also, I, I put a lot of effort into that video. <laughs> but I remember like, that one too. That was like the uh, the, the proposal. Like the, first, the proposal, the, the ring. Yeah. Prez yeah. Prez wanted to propose to Alex, who didn't have a name at the time, but now she has a name. Um, <laughs> lore. We got lore. Lore. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna die. Um, but uh, yeah. Oh so, shit, brother, get out! I don't think. Brother, you're gonna fucking die, dude. Get out of here. <laughs> I don't have anything valuable. <laughs> I'd be That's a true. Your life is valuable. <laughs> don't throw it all away. <laughs> don't throw it all away. <laughs> You've got all those layers on you. I remember. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. The I remember all that. All this stuff happening. Yeah. The, the, you know, I, I do think it was funny that some people thought that the wings were supposed to be something symbolic. I'm like, no, he's literally doing the prayer remote. 
There's no, there's no symbolism here. There's absolutely That's no right. symbolism. It's just Prez is doing the prayer room. I actually did not have 99 prayer at the time. I just gave him a prayer case so I could do that. And then after it went a little now, I have to get there 99 she goes. prayer. <laughs> oh, wait, <laughs> Why am I... No <laughs> F's given. <laughs> <She> just... <laughs> did you lose anything? No, because I think it's all untradeables that I have, but it does, it did oh, send yeah. me back to my death spot. <laughs> it, it what? Chat, <laughs> chat is pressing, pressing F for you, Prez. <laughs> I thought it would just like fit me back out onto the floor. But... Press F to pay respects for Prez. So yeah, that that was I think the most special one to me was 2011 and 2019 were the two I think most special ones to me. Well, what was the 2019? Why was that one? Uh... Well, that one I didn't know I was gonna get it because that one was their community champion one. Um, oh, I didn't actually expect to get it, but then I. <laughs> it was still it was just a shock because they don't they don't tell you for that one they they don't yeah. tell they don't because I think Jagex internally decides that hmm. I still don't know why so it's just an I, award for like the most like in, the biggest influencer in the community type of thing it's not even like specifically for art or anything like that I not I don't even think uh, it's, so I think it's the opposite of influencing I think it's more just it's you supposed no to influence. acknowledge more I, I don't know how to say it because then it will just sound like I'm flexing. Flex, flex away. You you've earned it. You can flex as much as you flex, like. Flex, 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 flex. flex, flex. I mean, I, for example, the, the the wiki team won it for this year. Oh, okay. Okay, mm -hmm. you know they do stuff for the community that yeah, they it's, it's like you, worthy yeah. of recognition. For me, mm -hmm. I think so it's like a lifetime me, achievement award for Runescapers for people. That are, yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> I, I might guess, be my one and only chance of getting a gold gnome because I certainly can't get it for video making these days. But maybe if I come yeah. back, enough, I might I have a small chance. Back. <laughs> I, I think more well, no, people I mean, like, remember I, you yeah. than you give yourself credit for. No, you know what's going to happen is we'll we'll get nominated because of this, and then Kyle will win the award because <laughs> he carries the show. So I'll just give it to Kyle. <laughs> No, don't 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 be so hard on yourself. But, <laughs> Actually, no. Uh, literally, the other day, like literally two days ago, I was perusing Reddit, and there somebody had posted kind of like a one of those like machinima s. Oh, Theo is here. Hi, Theo. Sorry, Theo's a friend of mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Theo, Theo's in my chat. He's watching. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I've known Prez Theo. forever. He he was saying he just he, re he didn't realize you were a girl just now. So. <laughs> He just found out. He just found out. He's yeah, shocked. Yeah, after all the voice chats, he just found out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love him. He's a good, he's a good lad. Um, oh. He's a white knight in both games, and it's great. Is he white knight? In <laughs> he white knight. In I, I respect, you know, commitments to the bet. <laughs> he, he's like, he's like the, I say he's like a white knight version of like Swamp Lettuce. He like commits to being like, I'm going to play this account to, like, the White Knight's coats. I'm not going to do anything that involves Zamorakians. Wow. Wow. It's wow. really That's cool. Hardcore. Like a video series. Yeah. <laughs> really cool. Should do, like, the look up war. <laughs> yeah, dude, Theo, make a video series, dude. That'd be a huge hit. People love that shit. <laughs> and it's like, he actually can't do certain quests, so it actually locks him out of combat, and I'm like, dang, that bad. No way, so cool. dude. That's fucking dedication right there. I thought, no, I want to fucking, yeah, I want to <laughs> do that shit. I think he can't do Garden of Tranquility because it involves stealing a statue of Sarah Dowin. Oh, my goodness. Which is not something that... that <laughs> that's that's, that's against his moral good. code. He cannot do that. Dude, he literally, he like, the MVP is just like, it's yo, really do cool. this. He's like, no, nah, I'm sorry. I can't, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, though. Like, you know what? That's such a cool such a restriction, bit. you know? Like, I like that people challenge yeah. themselves to play how they want. I'm just... just yeah, I mean, that's... Yeah. I just do whatever. I bulldoze up through all the content because I can't. Uh, but, I mean, it makes it, yeah, it makes it interesting for you when you when you've played the shit out of this game, which you know we all have. You gotta do something to keep it fresh. Keep it interesting, and, you know, yeah. Keep it interesting, so. Oh. <laughs> it, like, nice. it is unfortunately um, a prerequisite for a lot of quests. <laughs> oh no, this poor guy. That's all right. You know, he has to decide what's more important, right? He's got priorities. He's got values and beliefs. And you know, it's more than most of us can say. A strict set of morals. Also, I think like he also he, he trains thieving a very specific way. He disclaimed it, but I don't remember how. But he doesn't actually like pickpocket 
he, he does it through a different, really, really just a different way to train thieving because, you know, in White Knight, don't yeah. steal. He pickpockets from ham because like, they're, oh, they're a bad from ham. Yeah, so <laughs> that's that, valid. I guess around the <laughs> Jason, Jason, can we get it? Can we get Theodore on the pod? <laughs> oh no! Here I'm just talking about. <laughs> you're up next week, buddy. This is now a podcast. Yeah, you're on next week. <laughs> you know, ready, buddy. We're gonna bump, bump, bump. We don't need to hear from him. He hasn't made videos in seven years, so we'll get Theodore around and find out uh-huh. how he how he pulls this off. Huh. I want to I want to touch on the community champion thing that you were talking about. Oh yeah, you know, I'm so think sorry. That, oh no worries. No, that's that's okay. No, I just I just wanted to mention that like it really does speak to the amount of work that you have put into you know your art and the community over like the last I want to say like ten years. Like seriously, when you see your art style, like people, it's instantly recognizable now. It's crazy that like you know, people on the sub they'll instantly like know like that's a Prezi piece. This is awesome. It's great. And, like, I just, I see your stuff all over, too. Like, the front page of Reddit on, like, Jagex socials. I'm like, it's great. I'm like, I'm super happy for you. And, like, I seriously think that you are the most deserving person of that award. So I'm yeah. so glad that you got that. And yeah, I also so do want to say there was one comic that I saw recently that really made me, like, laugh my ass off, which was one that you did about Pyramid Plunder. And where I think your avatar gets like pierced by like a spear, but like, <laughs> yeah, like, I've seen that one. Two damage. <laughs> <laughs> and you think he's about to die. <laughs> just like one damage. That's my favorite one. Yeah, that's my favorite one that you've done so far. It, it's <laughs> one of my favorites. That's one of my personal ones. <laughs> I actually have a few that I really like that. I mean, they do okay, but it's like not a fan favorite. And there are some fan favorites. I'm like, why do people like this? <laughs> that sounds like my video career too. Yeah. <laughs> like, there are some that I, like I put like yeah. all this thought and effort into, and I try to like put these like you know really subtle or sophisticated things in it, and then it, it does okay. And then there's this one I just feel like did haphazardly in like a day, and then they're like, ah, oh, that's great. This is the best one ever, and I'm like. Really? <laughs> like, what? Yeah, I mean, that's that's the funny thing about putting your work into the wild. It's just like, this is going to have a life that's own. It's beyond my control. Yeah. It's like sending your kid off to college, you know? <laughs> yeah, I just learned to just, like, I just draw what I want, and then people will just latch on to what they like. Yeah, that way I just, just have to throw a lot of stuff out there. That, it's the same thing with video making. Like you, you put videos out like, oh, this is so good. I like put so much work in it, and nobody likes it. And then some, some <laughs> stupid idea. You're like, oh, I'll just throw this out. This is so stupid. But I'll just put it out there. It becomes like your best video. And you're like, what? <laughs> one of my best comics is one I actually thought was only like it was a mediocre idea. Um, it. I don't know if you've seen it. It's the one with Zora picking flax. I um, might have seen that one. Yeah, that's that familiar. But it's like Prez is killing Zolra, and then, you know, he gets like a 1,000 flax drop, and then it's like raining flax, and he's like, why though? <laughs> and then in the last two panels, it's like in the flax field, and Zolra's picking flax, and then he's telling all the noobs to get lost with the two <laughs> 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 I thought it was stupid, but people liked it, so it's fine. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you laughed during the description, so I, I assume you liked it. Oh, yeah. That's, that's a funny idea. <laughs> I'm glad. Wait, so so is that one that you made that, that caught on that you didn't think would catch on? Or is that yeah, one that... Yeah, that was that, one. Like... It, it's my, I think to date is my best performing comic on Reddit. Wow. It, wow. And I'm like, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> why that one? <laughs> so I guess people will find it was funny, so I... I I maybe I don't. If it works, it works. Again. It works, it works. I can't call it. <laughs> works, it works. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. <laughs> who would you cite as like your, uh, you know, when you were starting to get into like the RuneScape stuff, who would you cite as like your major? I know you mentioned the players gallery too, but like, did you have any other artists that you kind of looked up to either inside uh, or outside of RuneScape? Aside, oh, Kate Butcher is the one who I talked to the most and she really was really encouraging. I do wonder where she's went because she kind of vanished after 2012, which makes me sad, but. Yeah. Um, no, I I don't know. There's like a lot of iconic art pieces and a lot of art. I actually there was one other comic art, and I had been drawing comics and posting to like Tumblr, but I never actually posted it. There was one called Obli. Do you guys remember him? He does like the little room full of some guy. Oh, 
Oakley comics. I remember. Yeah, Oakley. I love, I love Oakley. Oakley. Like he, like yeah. I had been doing comics before, like on Tumblr and stuff. But like he's the one. I was like, mm. okay, he's posting the Reddit, and people like it. I guess yeah. I could post the RS3 one. Because I don't want to mess up his turf in the old school one. So I was like, I'll just post it already. Yeah. One. He's like Zora. <laughs> <laughs> but then he went away and I'm sad. But Aww. maybe he's gone off to bigger and better things. He, he was a really oh, good dude. artist, too. He's like, animating I, for Disney now. <laughs> he's animating for Disney now. <laughs> but he, he, I really like his art style. It's really good. And he has like. I don't know, on his he has like other stuff on his portfolio pages that are really good artwork. So it's like he does stuff beyond these cute little comics too. Like he does have a lot of understanding of fundamentals of art and stuff too. So it's yeah. I don't know. He he's awesome. I don't know if he's ever gonna see this or if he's busy making it in <laughs> we'll, the industry, we'll let it know through the but, Reddit <laughs> channels that you were but totally pumping I, I him would, up. <laughs> he he is really, really cool comic too and thank you for I, inspiring me to post to it because I used to be very scared to post to Reddit <laughs> <laughs> oh. big, big bad world out there I know I, I love his uh, his cute like anim- his cute little style with the uh, uh, the way he draws his guy with the room full home it's very expressive. yeah it's like he gets so much in such few lines and that's really really impressive to me and he, again he doesn't even have a face because he's got the full face helmet down but you can still tell what the character's thinking <laughs> Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, I just, I checked his Twitter. He hasn't posted anything in a couple of years. That's, that's crazy. Yeah. Sounds like Bum Bum. Well. <laughs> Maybe they're one in the same. Well, Have you ever seen them in the same room together? <laughs> that's right. There you go. Uh, Do a lot of escape like... of the graves. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> no, so there's, there's, there's a lot of artists here, though, that always continue to inspire me. Like, the Rootscape art community people on the server there almost all their stuff always just i'm like y'all are so talented i don't know why people can't even look at mine anymore i'm gonna just fade away to irrelevancy you guys deserve all the spotlight oh no don't <laughs> but, that. Yeah. oh you're just you're just great prezi what did you say there's like a <laughs> art community like server what, what was that oh yeah there's like a discord server so that oh, a cool. real art community and artists just kind of like post their Art there. We post up the art, ask for feedback, ask for tips, etc., etc. Oh, wow. um, it's it's fun. Everyone there is super. Kyle, cool. you can take your paint drawings there and get some feedback. Actually, you totally can. <laughs> you absolutely can. <laughs> they would probably be like, I would like put something so dumb in there, and they would be like so supportive. And I would there is actually some, some very like, notorious. There is some notorious MS paint, paint art of Theodore here, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, dude. Kyle, show him up. Show him how it's done. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do some Theodore fan art in the chat, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I got the mod team on that service. Hmm. I wonder if Theo's a mod on there, by the way. <laughs> do the, yeah, don't do the fucking, uh, do like the fucking Drake meme where he's like shaking his head at one thing and pointing at one thing. <laughs> yeah. where he's shaking his head at at isn't Garden of Tranquility, but they're pointing at the White Knight Castle. I think that's an emote on old school, isn't it? This thing? Yeah, he's got the Drake dance. Yeah, he's got it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we love Theo. We stand Theo in that server. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got it. He's doing it. Oh, fuck. Wait, that was good, dude. Do I have an emote? Smooth dance? Is that it? It's this one, right? Crazy dance. Oh, that's Gundam I, style. Smooth dance. I feel I've like been avoiding all your questions and just going on huge tangents. No, that's perfect. That that makes our work so much no, easier. Yeah. <laughs> no, seriously, you've made my work in the editing room way way easier by doing that. And I have to, like edit out awkward silences, and there's like this was like totally fluid. So we're about we're creeping up on the one hour mark, coincidentally. So I do want to ask one final question from me. You know, Jason, of course, you have one final question as well. Yeah, okay, good. You're welcome to. Um, I, I wanted to ask, you know, what advice do you have for artists, you know, either in the RS community or at large that are looking to make their work into a career? Honestly, keep drawing. Practice. And, you know, even if it's something small, try to at least do it consistently. Consistency is actually really important for developing your skill that's actually why i pushed myself to do weekly comics regardless of how good or bad or how funny or unfunny they were 
it was mostly to get myself into a regimen of making sure I practiced all consistently. That was why I did that. Um, so yeah, so I would, that would be my advice. Also, don't worry about art styles. You, you naturally pick it up on your own. Um, just draw what makes you happy. Yeah. That's good stuff. Yeah. So I, advice. my question is, I'm actually kind of curious. I like, so you went into kind of your job situation and, and you briefly touched upon Minecraft. I'm curious what other, like games and activities have you been into since like around like your when you got big in RuneScape have you gotten into anything else <laughs> do you like play League of Legends on the side do you do anything like that I have not oh had a God, whole lot of time talking <laughs> shit in League of Legends oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I remember my roommate in college played that a lot and it was funny to just watch her smashing the keyboard uh, <laughs> 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 like, are you okay there no, I don't. I don't play League. I know about it, but I don't actually play it. I don't have that much time to play games much anymore these mm. days. <laughs> Theo just DM me the nicest trash talker ever. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, I have been recently loving playing Among Us. Like, oh, that's I was just gonna really ask that. fun because I know <laughs> Zezima, and he actually plays that. I played with him a couple times. So if we ever have our oh, like super RuneScape. If we ever have a super RuneScape... <laughs> no, no, if we, ever, if we ever have our big time RuneScape um, Among Us game, um, we got, we got pull in Prezi, we got pull in Zez. Kyle, maybe we could bring him in too, because he's always talking about us flexing. All right. We'll, okay. we'll, we'll have him in. But yeah, we, we definitely got to have that. <laughs> I, I'm getting better now, and I finally actually have a few wins, but... My friends are so mean. Like, cause the, um, I get really nervous when I'm the imposter because I'm not the best liar. So, and or I, I don't kill or I'm really hesitant. So one, one of my friends, like, they'll, like, slam the emergency button. They're like, okay, it's been, like, three minutes. There's zero deaths. No sabotage. It has to be stressed. <laughs> So see, I would just be like, Pres, are you the imposter? And you'd be like, yeah, no. <laughs> okay, she's the imposter. Put her up. <laughs> you guys are oh, Prezi, you're way too pure for that game. You're way too pure. Way too I much lying involved. Yeah. <laughs> like, there was one round, actually, not long ago that I played. And and I ended up having, I ended up reporting four times in a row to the point that everyone was like, sus that it was all self report um, but I ended up piling oh. down on both imposters myself, and I was right. Wow. <laughs> nice. Nice. Damn, so we I gotta, we gotta I'm a good you but I'm a terrible liar. Yeah, we, we got to yeah. have Prezi. Yeah. Prezi's <laughs> definitely in. She's She's got the invite for that. Yeah. Have you, I would yeah. love to no, play. I love the game. Have you I played even it all the big game together? Yeah. Have you played yeah, it? I played it. I've okay. played it a bunch of times. Okay. Yeah. I'm terrible at it. I can never figure out what to do. I'm like, I have the map open as I'm running through the thing, like running over dead bodies. I'm like completely missing them because I have to like look at the map to figure out where I'm going. I'm oh that, my God, that bad. Dude. All right, well, I'm going to kill you last then because I know you're not going to make it. It's a viable strategy. It's a legit strategy that people actually use in the games I've played. <laughs> they save me for last. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. But, I did, uh, yeah, I we'll did win one round, one. though, as imposter, and I have screenshots for proof, and I oh. posted it in the achievement. Wow. <laughs> wow. All right. There, it's one official. single it's round. <laughs> <laughs> I think the reason I didn't actually have to lie, everyone was just sussing each other, and I was just like, not saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah mm -hmm. that's, oh, that's there you go. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, so I think that's the reason why. But yeah, I, I really like that game. It's fun. Yeah, it's it's we love it. We'll absolutely have to send you an invite because we're trying to get a our RuneScaper podcast guest game together that we'll have of you know all the people that we've had on the past and hopefully some more. So we will definitely shoot you an invite whenever we get that together. But that's about all the time we have for the uh, Spotify uh, portion of it. You know, thank you so much, Prezi, for joining us. This was. An absolute pre pleasure talking to you. Absolute pleasure. I really like talking. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> absolute oh. <laughs> well, Thank you for no, listening to me ramble for an hour. <laughs> no, of course. Yeah, we love, we love to hear about it.